Hey everyone, hope you're doing alright. It's a, it's a beautiful day out there at the moment. It's quite changeable right now. I've got my dog here at my feet and there's a fly going around in the living room. Uh, and she keeps jumping out there, she goes, every two seconds. So if you suddenly hear a big noise, uh, it's my dog barking at a fly that she would not hurt, even if she could. But anyway, um, I'm working on an idea for Saturday for the festival. Yeah, we're hopefully, as you know by now, we're trying to create a sort of a, a free, friendly environment for families to come and relax in. There's going to be some craft that kids can do. There's a treasure hunt, and people will be taking uh, clipboards and going off around the uh, common to find, try and find certain clues. There's a football challenge going on as well. Tim and I are going to reprise our roles of uh, Elliot and Lennox. But I also wanted to create uh, a little space for people in the middle of all that to just come aside. Uh, it's called called Visions, and the idea is quite simple. Uh, six really bright, colourful images, and two questions. Which one of these images best kind of captures your idea, your image of God? Uh, and there's a range. So some are, would look positive to some people, some might look uh, negative. They're all sort of kind of open to interpretation. And that's sort of the point. That's the, the power of the arts, isn't it? Uh, is that people respond to it in, in different ways. Uh, and I'm hoping just to hang out near there and, and listen to people and, and chat with people. We may come up with some sort of fun way of, of taking a vote uh, on the images. I don't know if that's going to be yet uh, uh, little ball pit balls that you put in certain jars or colouring in a square so that people can see uh, what is the most common, the most popular image that people have of God. And then the second question, which one of these represents how you would like to know God uh, in, in your life? Uh, and I'm just, just looking forward to what people say, to what people share. Uh, I also want to have a little box where people can fill out a little slip of paper in case there's not one that really represents what they think of God or how they'd like to know God, uh, but they have more thoughts uh, about that. And I like the idea because very often we presume that people are coming from a certain angle uh, or from a certain place. Uh, but Jesus was always amazing, wasn't he, at, at starting where people were. Uh, and leading them on from there, but speaking in, in their language and, and letting them express their questions, their pain, their hurt, their hopes, their longings, uh, and, and leading them on. It's just going to be there on the side, it's not a kind of in-your-face kind of thing. Hopefully it'll be bright and, and colourful. Um, some of you I know are in the church of great artists and maybe um, next year we can uh, work on this together and develop some, some pictures together uh, that you guys could, could paint for, I'd, I'd absolutely love that. If you're not part of the team for Saturday, you, you can be. We still need people to, um, to help with the setup and the litter picking, so if you can, we'd really appreciate your support. Um, secondly, if you really can't come, please pray. Uh, please just pray that um, people meet Jesus. Somehow people see something of Jesus uh, in how we're serving, in how we are with each other, uh, in the welcome that they receive. Uh, in little moments, in little conversations like this, I pray that the Holy Spirit will be at work inspiring us and speaking to us and, and through us and, uh, and, and using us. And I'm looking forward to hopefully be able to share uh, what, what God did. So we've got some uh, printing and still some last minute preparations to do. I've got to go and try and convince my dog that this fly is not a threat. I mean, talk about a David and Goliath battle, I suppose that's the wrong analogy. I really hope we can see you there on Saturday. If not, I hope you keep it safe, hope you keep it well, hope you keep it blessed, uh, and that we can catch up soon. God bless you.